Guys, what we're looking at here is a Plano pistol case. It's the Protector Series Model 1403. I bought this at Dick's. It was about $12.99. And this is what I'm keeping my Z-Connect in. This is the Z-Connect. All that is is my test stub gauges that are digital. My dual input K-type thermometer two pipe clamps and a hose. Let me go one by one and sort of show you what I have here. This is a Robin Air digital gauge head suitable for 410A. And one of the reasons why I like this, and where I first saw this was NorCal. He had it on one of his videos and I think it was the low side gauge, but I just knew this was the next step for me in my service career. You hit the refrigerant button. You have several different refrigerants to choose from. 407C, I think, let's see, it's some of the other pipes. I don't see 421A, but we have 422D and B, 427A. Doesn't have MO99 on it, but it has plenty of the ones that we use on an everyday basis. It'll give you the saturation temperature, so it's real easy to calculate subcooling and superheat. This is the low side, about the same thing here. One of the things that we have, we have a light on top. Will light up it's really cool the batteries last a good decent time i change them every two or three weeks probably really nice i want a compact dual input k-type thermometer and i have the hillmore here really easy as you see there's a little area where you can calibrate it with ice water turn it on it says they're open because nothing's plugged in right now you can change between celsius and fahrenheit it gets you your T1 and T2 temperature. That's all it gives you. It doesn't do any you know, delta or anything like that. It's really simple and really compact. It's made to fit in between the gauges, the Hillmore gauges. Like if you have your gauges here and here, it clips on to, I think, their, one of their upper, higher-end manifolds. But it works perfectly. And I just used, I have some randoms here. The Hillmore clamp is really small, lightweight. doesn't take up a whole lot of room. I wish I had two of them because it's just smaller, more compact, which is perfect for the setup. I have an old Philip Piece Blue one. It's, it hasn't broken. I know how they say the Philip Piece Blue uh, pipe clamps, they break, but I've never broken this one, obviously, and I've never broken any of them, I don't think. I have one hose in here. I'll probably put a second one in there with a ball valve on it. This one has a separate valve, so you can use it as a small hose, or you can use it as a ball valve. I got this from United Refrigeration. And that's really what I use as far as refrigerant circuit testing. It does everything I need. I have talked to the people from Appian about testing out their digital PT gauges that have the new inputs for temperature. But I, that's not solid yet, so I don't know if that'll happen. That would be the only way to improve upon this design. I think they're a little bit bigger though, so it may actually be a wash. So that's what I carry to troubleshoot refrigeration circuits. So I thought you guys would want to see that. A lot of people ask about the Z-Manifold or Z-Connect, which is just my nickname for these test stub gauges. That's it.